The chief clerk will record the vote. There are 25 ayes, 15 nays, two absent excused. The bill having received a constitutional majority, I declare it passed and ordered immediately transmitted to the Senate. Yeah, that was about uh, 55 minutes ago. The assembly just voted yes, 25 to 15. On the heels of the Senate voting yes, 13 to 8 yesterday. All they need right now is a signature from Governor Joe Lombardo. But SB1 certainly will be signed official into law in the coming days. And that will approve $380 million of public funding for the A's to build that ballpark right there on the Las Vegas Strip at the current site of the Tropicana Hotel. And so just to recap, similar to baseball, there's three strikes in all of this. Strike one was the Senate vote that took place yesterday. Today was strike two. That's the assembly vote. It's all said and done. In fact, it even went back to the Senate for their confirmation. Strike three, which we'll get into in just a second, is ultimately the final step in potential relocation for the A's. That would make it official. MLB owners across the board, they will get a say, they will get a vote. They have to vote 75% yes in confirmation of a relocation plan, which has yet to officially be presented from our understanding. There are MLB owners meetings happening today and tomorrow, but we understand that the relocation of the A's not brought up to the table yet. It could happen within the next few weeks, maybe months. So here's how it stands right now. Nevada Assembly and the Senate have essentially passed SB1. It's uh, the Senate bill one, not the stadium bill, but the stadium is all what it's about. It took five days of a special session, and it is just kind of amazing to consider where we're at right now in this process. Essentially, the door to Las Vegas for the A's is absolutely open. And reaction to all of this is what you would expect. Not a surprise to anybody, but certainly emotions high right now. And as this news settles in, really the the legal process not entirely understood by most people here in California of how it works in Nevada, but when most people get to understanding what just took place and that there really is only one more ultimate step, the realization of it kicks in. And as for that final step, let me explain it one more time here. The MLB owner approval is that 75% vote that is needed. There's three possible outcomes here. Number one is confirmation of relocation. They'll just flat out approve it. Number two, they could potentially deny relocation for whatever reason or, or multiple reasons. Or number three, MLB could confirm relocation but also attach a relocation fee to the A's of potentially and hypothetically something like $300 million. And it just makes you think the A's at one point said that they could not do a Las Vegas ballpark project without $380 million of public funding. How would it work for them if all of a sudden a surprise $300 million was a part of this relocation? Would they still be able to do it? That is yet to be seen. There's also what you've probably heard about by now, the Moneyball Act brought up yesterday by U.S. Representative Barbara Lee and Mark Desaunier from the East Bay. That would cause MLB teams to reimburse the markets they're vacating or, in this case, might involve MLB attaching a relocation fee, which would obviously impact the ace.